Um, so what is number, so this is y plus 2 to the 6th? OK, so I'm just going to do an example for you. Actually, I'll do two examples. I'll do two examples, and then I will uh, leave it out to you to finish, OK? OK, so first thing we need to understand about this. We understand that as far as this binomial expansion, I am going to have y to the 6th power is going to be that first term, right? And it really, it's 2 to the 0 power. Would everybody agree with me on that? If you remember, guys, look over here. It starts with multiplying this out. It goes the first term to the fourth, third, two, one, zero. The last term is zero, one, two, three, four. Notice how the variables ascend and they descend. That happens on every single time you multiply it out. Notice, notice this. x plus one to the fourth. What was my first term? x to the fourth. fourth. It's always going to be that first term is going to be raised to that power of your expansion. So this is y plus two to the sixth. I know my first term is going to be y to the Six. And my last term is going to be 2 to the Zero. sixth power. No, I'm sorry. The last term over here will be 2 to the, to the sixth power. So we are ascending, or I guess we'll just do this. y to the fifth, y to the fifth, plus y to the fourth, plus y cubed, plus y squared, plus y1. Right? I mean, that's basically your binomial expansion. That's how it's looked in every problem. And then you just go the other way with your second term. Now, we're not done, though, with this. If you guys remember, this is the pattern we looked at. Look at this last problem. We saw that the first term, that x, first term, x, is being raised to the fourth power. And then it goes down in descending order. The second term, y, is being, is, starts in descending order. Goes all the way up to y to the fourth at the end. And that's the pattern with any binomial squared. But there's also a pattern with the coefficients. Not only do we have the, ver the powers, the first power, again, goes in descending power order. And the second term goes in ascending power order. The last term that we talked about was the Pascal's triangle, where if we have our expansion, so if we have x squared or our x plus y squared, that's going to give us 1 to 1 as the coefficients. So then I can just follow down. So that would be to the third. We could do 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. That's going to be to the fourth. To the fifth would be 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. And to the sixth power is going to be 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. Again, all I'm doing is I'm adding terms to give me that next row. Okay. So that means is I need to multiply each one of these expressions by that coefficient. So I multiply this first one by 1. The second one I need to multiply by 6. This one I need to multiply by 15. Here I need to multiply by 20. Here I need to multiply by 15, 20, oh, wait, 6. Thank you. Well, it's going to be whatever problem equates to how many times you're square, how many times you're raising the binomial, like power. Like if you're doing to the third power, you'd use only those. If you're doing a binomial to the fourth power, you'd use those numbers, right? Well, it's not really hard to memorize. I mean, you start with one, then you do one one, then you just start adding terms. One two one, two one plus two is three. I mean, you just keep on combining them, right? So I mean, you can easily kind of create the triangle. And then, well, if you want to multiply, you can. But we don't want to multiply, right? It can be way too much work. I'm telling you, once you get some practice on this, it's not as bad, especially for the hard problems, which I'll explain. So therefore, this, y to the 0 is just 1. So my final answer is y to the 6th. 2 to the first power is 2. 2 times 6 is 12, y to the 5th. That's 4. 4 times 15 is 60, y to the 4th. 2 cubed is 8. 8 times 20 is 160. 2 to the fourth is going to be 16. 16 times um, 15 is 240. Um, 2 to the fifth power is 32. 32 times 6. 
32 times 6 is 180, 192, I believe. Wait a minute, that's y cubed. Wait a minute, why am I getting, that's y to the fourth. 6, 5, 4, where am I missing? That's 3. This was 2. Wait, did I like double an entry or something? 6, that's 12. 60, 180, 2 to the fourth power is 32, is 240. That's 32 times 6, which is y to the, yeah. Uh, well, no, the coefficients follow this form. That's what you're multiplying by. Well, yeah, well I mean, I'm talking about n stuff. Right, and then, yeah, well, because you're multiplying by what the value of y is. And then uh, we have. Okay, so because that would be 32 times 6. 32 times 6 would be 180. 32 times 6 would be 180 times. I just got to multiply it. 192, which I originally just thought. So that's going to be 192y. And then 2 to the 6th power is going to be 64.